about, about to read a little few little pages out of this book called Praying Circles Around Your Children. If you have kids, my friends, you have to pray circles around your children. We live in a world that is absolutely dominated um, by the God of this earth, Satan. The spiritual warfare is real. And my friends, we have to be suited up with the armor of God because things are getting really crazy. I want to remind you guys of something. This is more of a, I believe, I don't want to say this prophetic from the standpoint, I'm not a prophet. I don't, I don't predict the future. I don't claim to. Um, I've never been one that thinks I have a prophetic uh, gift or anything, but I do believe from the standpoint of being a prophetic voice, someone who is willing to be a bold proclaimer of truth and a bold proclaimer of reality, and spiritual things, I do consider myself one of those people, a, a John the Baptist-esque type of person who wants to like just confront uh, deception, who wants to confront, you know, the, the culture. Like I want to come against it because I know it's so anti-Christ. And I want to be a bold voice in the wilderness crying out to you guys, giving you the answer to all of the problems that we're seeing. But I've been on social media this morning and I see a lot of my friends who are Christians who are really upset about what's happening in Georgia. Those who are not in America and you guys are outside international, I know that a lot of things sort of, you know, people are watching the United States and, you know, we are the, the country that, that sort of is leading the way and the world sort of follows. Don't know why, because we're the most blasphemous, adulterous nation in this world, um, the most idolatrous uh, nat nation in this world. Um, it's absolutely insane. And and for you Christians who think that God's judgment is not coming, you, you guys are falling into this arrogant trap that the rest of the world, that the rest of the nation is, is, is falling into. And so I want to encourage you to understand that we, as a nation, deserve judgment. It, we have so blasphemed this holy God I want you to remember, he is holy, set apart. Like he is from another, another, I mean, another, he's outside of the box. We must understand who God is. But very quickly, I've seen all of the comments and the posts and I can't believe the deception and the fraud and, you know, Democrats are taking over the, the Senate. It's, you know, this, the world is going to no go ahead and usher in the antichrist agenda, all of this stuff and all of these comments, like people are surprised and here you know, we, we act like as a nation, we don't deserve judgment and we don't deserve, uh, what's coming our way and things are going to get harder for Christians now, I guess. And it's like, really, have you read the Bible? Do you realize what biblical suffering is guys? We need to embrace this. We absolutely must embrace this. But I wanna give you, if you are one that is following Christ, this, this advice is for you, it's for me, it's for every single human being on this planet. And I don't care if you're American, Indian, you know, Arabic, you know, you're from the UK, you're Australia, I, I don't care where you're from, from, I don't care. If you are a human being, you need to hear this message. And I would go to 2 Chronicles 7, verses 14 through, through, uh, through 15, it says here, this is the answer to, our, to, to what's plaguing our land. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wickedness, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. And this is what I see. I see every single person rejecting the truth. I post stuff all day long and I'm trying to build up and edify and challenge and encourage and all of these things. And I, I don't, you know, I don't know if y'all are watching. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying, but you guys need to understand you keep rejecting this holy, holy God. And you think that we, we don't have judgment coming. You, you expect anything different when you continue to follow the ways of Satan. You continue to follow this, this satanic agenda. You continue to allow God's truth not to be proclaimed. You can, you continue to follow the deception and you think that God's going to hear your, your silly little prayers. Guys, you got something else coming. You guys need to wake up and understand that, that the Lord is saying, repent, 
Turn from your wickedness and turn to him. Get on your face and repent of your sins and turn to the Holy One, the only one that can fix this problem. It drives me crazy, man. It, it drives me absolutely nuts. And that you're, you're dependent on what? You're dependent on Trump? You think Trump's gonna save this situation from happening? You think he's gonna prevent any of that? Dude, like, it's like the blind leading the blind. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, I don't care. It is the blind leading the blind. We need to follow Christ. We need to get in the word. We need to start coming together as believers and start standing up for real truth. That's how things are gonna get done. Until then, it's gonna be the same old, same old. And whether Joe Biden gets elected, you know, the Republicans lose the Senate, it doesn't matter. If you've read the Bible, you know what's happening, you know what's coming, it's inevitable. Guys, we are living in the end days. And I don't know when the Lord is returning, I'm not here to predict that, I don't really care. I would love for him to come today and get me out of this place, out of this misery, out of this dump. But until then, we as followers of Christ have a job to do. We have a job to do. We need to go proclaim the truth, proclaim the gospel. We need to be discipling. We need to be teaching and preaching and sharing the good news of Christ. Even if it hurts, even if it doesn't, it isn't popular. Even if the world comes against you and they hate you for it. Good. They should hate you. Jesus said they will hate you for being my followers. I just posted a story. The world does it. If the world, if the world loves you, there's a problem. Okay, you're, you're not following biblical Christianity. Okay, you're not. I'm here to tell you, you're not. Check who you're following. Check who you're who you're studying under. Who you're listening to. Who you're what preachers you're listening to. There's so much deception and so many false prophets out there, leading people astray. So guys, heart check. Heart check. Heart check.